Hello, this is Daniel again. Uh, this is the second video I'm making for the uh, RuneScape series. Uh, the first video was on creating the account. Uh, this video will pick up from there. I will show you how to set the configurations, uh, display the appearances, how to, how, how to find things, uh, so, uh, uh, make adjustments in the appearance uh, of your account. Uh, so that uh, you can uh, more easily access, um, you know, again, this is one possible layout. Uh, you know, you can, once you see how to do it, then you can just uh, adjust things any way that you like. Uh, next video after this one, I will show you the Lodestones network and how to get around. Uh, for now, let's, let's look at the settings and configurations. Um, uh, let's get started. Uh, so you get when you first log in, uh, you will go to a screen, a uh, welcome screen lobby. Uh, you can choose whether to select the world. Uh, you can see your friends. Uh, you know, if you want to have in a friends chat or a clan chat, uh, some options if the uh, somehow it's not logging in for you or if it's not, something is not working correctly. Uh, getting some kind of uh, display problems, you can make adjustments here before you start uh, logging into the game. Uh, going back to the, uh, let's say I, you have some other options for your account up here, I'm like, that's beyond the scope of this video. Uh, you can just um, look at each one of these at, um, uh, at your leisure. Um, but if you just want to go to or have a pick a world for you, you can just play now and it will uh, pick a world for you to log in. be able to hear me a little better. Uh, Alright, so in the game itself, uh, I will, uh, if you click on, there's this little tag uh, in the corner, uh, or there's, uh, there's also this uh, option in the menu app. You have the options menu, or you can click on the tag, and you'll have the same options menu. Alright, you have the option, uh, uh, this is uh, retro. Uh, you can go to, remember I told you there was a uh, classic, there was RuneScape 2, and there was RuneScape 3. This, there are as to default uh, as this one. Uh, you can see this looks a little different. Uh, RS3 default. Uh, it's like this. You know, the bars on top. The, the mini map moved over here. And your skills moved over here. So it's, it's a little different the way they have it set up. Uh, or uh, that, like this. Um, the retro is like that. So, so I'm going to. Switch it to RS2 default, and then I'm going to actually go to uh, edit layout mode. Uh, I'm going to actually start with RS3 default. Uh, I'm going to advanced options. Uh, advanced options lets you uh, lets you pick uh, where you want everything to show up. So. If you want your bank window by default to show up in the center, uh, you can you can change where it shows up on the screen. You know, 
so it doesn't cover things that you want to see while you're in your bank. That's, that's one example. Uh, this is the crafting progress where if I'm smithing or something, this, this is where the window would show up. Um, if you're in a mini game, uh, that's where this will pit, pop up. Um, XP, um, I would personally wouldn't want um, information about my XP to pop up over my activity work. Uh, that would be distracting, so I'd, I'd probably want to move that off to the side. Uh, uh, so if I want to... Uh, this, this is the system clock, so you know what time it is on the server. Uh, so when that gets to 23.59, it's the end of it. Uh, the end of the, the day, and then at zero, zero, uh, that's when the uh, events, uh, we start uh, the daily events, uh, we'll do that on another, uh, on another video. Uh, I'm gonna uh, go back into the settings. Uh, these settings. So, I'm um, gonna close this for a moment. This one, I actually need to show up on the side. So, uh, I'm actually gonna drag this up like this. Uh, if I drag it any further, they just spread out. Uh, if, I, if I compact it too much, and then you'll see that. Uh, some icons start disappearing off the bottom. So, uh, for me, it's, it's easier to drag this up until all, all the icons appear. So now I have everything uh, that's easily accessible. Alright, now I can uh, reopen my backpack. Uh, I can put that here. I can reopen my equipment. I can drag that off here and I can reopen my skills and then I can drag that off here so that's this is one possible way when uh, to set things up when you're training lower level skills so you can see what your skills are and you can see what you're wearing you can see what you uh, you have in your inventory and your backpack all at the same time that's one possible way for lower level uh, skills training. Uh, obviously, you might want to change this when you are uh, going into combat and you, uh, for bosses. You might need higher level, um, some higher uh, higher level bosses. You might need more screen space. If you have a smaller screen, you might need more screen space. Uh, is that, is this is something you have to play with. Uh, how you want things to appear. Uh, this bar, you can, uh, it's a little bit uh, clumsy sometimes, but this bar I usually move to the top. Uh, so just bear with me because it doesn't always move the way we anticipate. I like to drag this out, so it's like this, right, and then, um, so I'm not sure, I don't really have this one on the, on the other, on the other, um, I usually have on my combat settings in here, so let's see, combat settings, Alright, so you can do. Alright, so this is when you're doing combat. Uh, you can do legacy combat, which, uh, as I said, old school is. Uh, uh, you want to do things more manually. Uh, full manual, obviously, is you do everything yourself. 
revolution, it will automatically uh, activate the the basic abilities, and then you will be the one to select the, your uh, intermediary, intermediate, and advanced abilities uh, on your own. But it will automatically fire the um, basic abilities for you uh, until your adrenaline bar fills up. So. Uh, I recommend that you will put it on revolution, but again, this is your personal preference. Uh, like that. So, uh, automat here, automatic trigger of basic. Uh, you can actually now automatically trigger the threshold and the ultimate abilities, but I usually leave mine on the basic ones. Uh, Alright, so, uh, so that's uh, different settings that you can make in here on how that shows uh, 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 so the kind of interfaces on how it you know, if you want your mouse over text to suffer so point over something and I want it I want it to tell me what it is. Alright, so I'm gonna I'm actually gonna leave this like this uh, the way this is set up right now and I'm going to save this as my custom one save, save, alright, and then if I want to combine this later, I can do that, and then I can combine these two into here, and then I have, uh, this is, looks more like when I started the, the, the last video, uh, we had these three together, alright, and then uh, from the last video, the introduction where we created the account, uh, this is the uh, mage, this is the melee, and this is the range. Um, that's the backpack, that's one equipment, that's skills. Uh, this will be plus. Uh, players. And so, and so on and so forth. So that's uh, uh, basic on uh, in setting up. And then, um, I mean, you know, the different settings here, but that, um, that's how you, uh, that's the basic and uh, setting up your, setting up your settings, uh, you know, layout. Uh, when you, uh, you know, when you want to, you want to take a break, you would, uh, go to the lobby if you want to uh, leave for now. Log out. I'm going to uh, lobby for right now because I'm going to do a lodestone video in a moment. So, uh, so just uh, you know, take your time and you know, set up the settings correctly so that uh, you can enjoy your experience. Uh, so, a good gaming setup uh, as opposed to a, a uh, when that doesn't work for you, you gotta find out what. Uh, take your time to get that set up correctly so it works good for you. It's a lot of settings in here. It's uh, very co uh, complicated now because they keep adding more to this game. So, uh, as I'll see in the next video, remember to uh, click notification and subscribe so that uh, as I'm adding more videos, you can follow along.